Hey guys, happy Friday morning. It's Miss Thornton. I'm coming to you live from my kitchen in the Thornton household. I am so excited to be doing devotion with you all today. I'm going to share with you guys a couple of verses and prayers that really sit on my heart in times where you feel like you don't have control. The first one I want to share with you guys is the serenity prayer. I keep this on a cross in my kitchen. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this is something I've had for a while. And what it says is, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. In life, we all have things that we can't change, and we have to realize that God's in control of things, and we are not. So the, the thing that sits on my heart is when I am able to let that go, as the prayer says, and know that God has it and I have no control over it, it offers me a, a sense of peace. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna encourage you guys to do right now is sometimes we think, man, what's happening in the world? And that's things that we can't control. We can control how we react to it. We can control to stay safe and to stay in our house. We can control how we're gonna look at every day and approach every day. Uh, we can pick our attitudes every day. We can know that we are blessed for so many things. So even though it's hard not to go outside and play with our friends or be with each other at school, we know that we can look at the world and go, you know what? I am so blessed that I get to connect with my friends and I'm able to go to class online and see my teachers and to continue learning and I'm gonna be excited about that. You know, I get up every day and I'm so blessed to be able to go, you know what, I actually get to see my colleagues. I get to see my kids at school and check in with them and make sure that they're doing okay. So that's something that I know that I do have control over. Even though God has control over the big picture, I can control my attitude and I'm so thankful and I'm so blessed that I get to check in with you guys and I'm not going to forget that. The other thing that I turn to a lot when I feel like times are hard is I lean in on Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you and plans to give you hope and a future. And I hope that you guys can, that resonates with you all as well, because this is gonna pass and we're all gonna come out of quarantine and we're all gonna be together and God has big plans for you. You know, he's gonna do so many good things with your life and I can't wait to get back to school and hear all the ways that God's been working in your life during this time. Uh, when you were at home with your families and how you got through it and how you're looking at stuff and how you chose uh, your approach to looking at it. So guys, remember, God's got us. He's in control. We can't control everything, but we can control small stuff. We can control that we're gonna be positive and we're gonna control that we know that we're gonna be together soon and it's gonna be wonderful. As Mr. Harris says, you're loved and there's nothing you can do about it. Have an awesome Friday. Try to get out and enjoy the 80 degrees weather. I know I am. Bye, guys. Good morning. Today is Friday, March 27th, and happy birthday to Lane Guy and Duff Hankins. Also, happy weekend birthday to Jason Huddleston and Mr. Copeland. Today's an E-Day. We start with fourth, end with second, and there's no third period today. Uh, it's a three-day on the uh, enrichment schedule. And make sure to look at the Good Morning for America sent to, sent, sent to everybody today. Um, I might even be on it, so you might as well tune in. Um, I love you guys. Miss ya. See ya. Good morning, FRA. Um, it is not even bright and early here at the Harris household. It's just early. Um, uh, we have reached Friday. We're at the end of our first week together, which probably means a couple of things. First of all, we've made it. Well, we've almost made it. And then second, um, it probably means the novelty or the, the newness of this new platform is beginning to wear off for some of you. And uh, I, I want to say a couple things there. First of all, this is far different than anything any of us have ever experienced, as we've already talked about. I, I would ask that, you know, in this time um, that's, that's pretty challenging on everybody, that you would do a couple of things. First of all, when the newness and, and the novelty starts to wear off, uh, that's where you really show character. Uh, when you plug in and you still do the things that are required of you, 
um, when you when you give us your best effort daily um, in the midst of some challenges, that's where character is revealed. Um, we know that you guys all have strong character. We want to see you rise to this challenge. And the second thing I want to say is this. You know, while we're able to do some things um, online, there are some things that are absent in our in our lives for all of us. Um, and so in this time um, of, of just a, a different platform, I want you to be thinking about the things for which you are grateful, the things that you take for granted um, in your everyday normal life when we're not confined to our houses and remaining eight, eight feet away uh, from a stranger, um, when food is not scarce in grocery stores. What are the things that you take for granted that you now are really appreciative of and grateful for? Um, what are the things about our school that you have taken for granted uh, that, you know, right now we can't quite experience in fullness? Um, don't forget those things. But then on the other side of that, what are the things you're thankful for right now? What are the things that this new experience has allowed you to do? Um, I'll tell you one of mine. I love, uh, I have really enjoyed a different pace to the morning. I still get up early, um, but I get to have my coffee and a little quiet time every morning um, while I watch the sunrise. Um, before my daughters get up, and even before my wife gets up, um, that's one of the things that I have really, really loved um, about this new platform. And it's something that I wanna try to, I'm gonna do a better job of building into my daily life uh, when things return to normal. Um, and let's be clear, they will return to normal. Um, it may be longer than we want, um, but, but it's coming. Uh, know that you guys are loved and there's nothing you can do about it. Let's make it a great day.